Howdy, howdy. Okay, so the Democrats uh, failed to get their $15 minimum wage uh, bill introduced into the COVID relief package. Uh, the vote failed. Uh, I think eight, eight votes uh, didn't make it. Seven of them were Democrats. Uh, there was one independent who voted no. And this is a bummer. Um, this is, it just looks really bad. Um, I don't know if they're going to be voting it in a separate bill sometime down the road. I hope so. But it didn't make this COVID relief package. Okay. So the good news, if there is any, 42 senators apparently are for uh, a $15 minimum wage. Now, how many of those senators voted yes, knowing that their colleagues were going to vote no, and they're just like, yeah, I'll vote. Imagine, you know, you're not going to vote. Uh, Kirsten Sinema, you're not going to vote. Okay, um, I'm going to vote yes, so I look good. Okay, maybe. I mean, you don't know. Um, so, but on its face, 42 senators are on the record now for saying they're going to vote uh, for it potentially in the future as well. So that's actually some good news mixed in here. Uh, I, I, I see some optimism here. <laughs> I also see a lot of cynicism, though, uh, because this all reminds me of Obama and Biden's first couple years where they failed on kitchen table issues. And the midterms in 2010 were an absolute bloodbath. The, the GOP reigned uh, for a decade, okay? And it was, you know, Mitch McConnell's reign. And like, you know, I, I, I see this as like the same cycle repeating. Democrats failing to provide their constituents, their voters, with, with basic kitchen table issue policies, okay, that affects the broad working class, the poor, uh, you know, a huge swath of the base, right? So it's like, I, I, I'm, I'm scared for that because it, when 2022 comes up, and it's right around the corner, of course, and the midterms come and the, the Democrats don't have a $15 minimum wage passed, it's a guarantee. It goes, the Democrats will lose the House, the Democrats will lose the Senate. If they can't, if they just can't get one kitchen table policy for the working class of this country, if they just can't get this one, it's a big one, but it's just one, if they can't get this one thing, expect them to lose like they lost in 2010 when they were blowing the healthcare thing, okay? Because big promises on the campaign trail, you know, people do pay attention and people do vote uh, uh, on record and what they see before their eyes. If they don't see those bills being passed, guess what? You don't get my vote. Democrats seem to be less tribal than Republicans. Republicans will vote Republican at any cost. But as soon as you start rebuking, if you're the Democrats, you start rebuking your own voter base, they won't show up. They're not as adamant as the GOP base, which will vote at all costs, okay, right? So the Democrats have to get this right. They have to get just one good policy in, one solid working class policy that will guarantee them to hold the House and, and build in the Senate and, and maintain, you know, the majority that they need, right? Because the Republicans have lost their mind. They're absolute fascist. We don't want to see them in power ever again on the federal level, right? So it's like, they got to get it done by 2022. So it didn't happen today. Let's mourn that and let's get over that because um, they have to get this passed. We have to push them. You have to push your senator, your Congress people for this $15 uh, minimum wage. We have to. So get on their message boards, uh, email them, contact them, text them. I don't care how you do it. Get involved. Um, I just don't want to repeat a 2010.
the GOP. They held it for a decade. A decade! They can't screw this up, but... All right, I'm going to calm down because I'm just going to... I'm going to think too much here and it might be all for nothing. I really think they can get this done by 2022. I don't know. Hopefully by budget reconciliation. If not, who in the GOP is going to vote for a $15 minimum wage, though? I don't see that happening, though. So they have to do it through budget reconciliation. I don't know. Anyways, let's talk about it down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Click the bell. I'll meet you down there.